How you doing? Joe Cook here again with head coach Anthony Evans of the men's basketball team. Uh, last night, you guys got the win over Jacksonville State. I mean, big win, final there, 70-53. Um, one of the big things there that looked out to me was just you guys' activity on the board. So you guys were really active. Kyle Quinn led, led your team with 15 rebounds. I mean, what are some of the things you were able to do in that game that was able to give your team chances to get those types of rebounds? Well, we've been working on things in practice. We thought that rebounding was our Achilles heel last year, along with some other things. So we've been really concentrating on it in practice. We do tons of drills, rebounding drills. So the guys will be aggressive and go to the boards defensively as well as possible. And, and on, the, on the defensive side of the ball, I mean, last year, Jeremy, Jeremy Bynum, Jacksonville State, I mean, hit nine threes, really a problem for you guys. You know, when he was one of five, on the field, only hit one three all game. The league was just in his back pocket all night. I mean, speak about the job. Speak about the job you guys did defensively on Jeremy Bynum. Well, Alik is one of our better defenders. You know, and, and last year we put him on the best player all the time. So tonight or uh, last night, that's what we did. You know, we put him on Bynum, make sure he didn't get any threes. You know, we had Rob Hampton on the point guard, make sure there was no dribble penetration. And both those guys did a great job. Alik definitely didn't let him get any open looks which was great for me. <laughs> Most definitely. And and another thing defensively that I think you guys did well at was, was adjusting. Stephen Hall, he was a factor in, in the first half, I and mean, 13 points. Second half, he was a non-factor. Then Nick Murphy kind of came on. He was the second in the score. Um, but speak about defensively adjusting. I mean, you shut down Jeremy Bryan, and then when another player arises and tries to answer the call, you shut him down too. Well, I think it was a, a, a collective thing. They understood we had to focus in on the guys who were hurting us. And then one thing they were doing, they were trying to bring Kyle out so they could throw the ball us out. So we had Kyle stay closer to the basket so he could clog up the lane, and that helped us out because their, their five man really couldn't shoot, and we knew that. So we had him stay into the, in the lane so he could clog it up, block shots, and be closer to get rebounds. And he definitely did. Three block shots, I mean, all of them were just – Basically, crowd pleasers, was almost yeah. most of the stands every time, and then you guys were able to get in transition where you guys really shine. Right, right. Transition is something we do well. You know, we've done that well the last four years that I've been here. So, but we want to correct other areas so we can be a complete basketball team, half court execution, things like that. What other areas did you see out there that you feel need to be corrected? Well, turnovers. Too many turnovers. We had 17 turnovers. Um, they really didn't pressure us at all. So it was more so offensive fouls, illegal screens, things like that. So we have to clean those things up. And, and then on the offensive side, I mean, one more can be said about Rob Hampton, just a big night with those 26 points. I mean, he really a bounce back performance from the Long, from the Long Island game where he only shot 6 of 21. But uh, came there with, with, a, with a better focus, and he really got to the free throw line as well. So speak about his performance as well. Well, he, I, I think he was focused. I think he was relaxed. He played confidently, and, and he played his game. He attacked the basket. He shot mid-range shots, and that's his game. You know, when he got hot, he started taking some threes, which I don't have a problem with. But he's, he's a great finisher, great slasher. And those are the type of things that he has to do to get those type of numbers consistent. You know, Rob Hampton had a big night, but also had a big night. Two players that I saw that really shined me a difference in the game. Reggie Revels, activity, making things happen, and Brandon Wheelers yeah. coming in there, hitting, hitting those threes. I mean, it's about your depth. I mean, really, eventually you perform. I mean, it, it was great to see Brandon have a good game. He's been struggling a little bit. And, you know, he's starting to get his confidence back. And when he shot the first one, I was praying. <laughs> went in, and we were happy. And then he hit the second one. But he, he, he played great for us last night, as well as Reggie. You know, Reggie came in and played solid basketball. He did a great job for us. and helped us solidify the win. And then now you guys go on the road to Philadelphia to play St. Joseph. And they just came off the loss to uh, Penn State, mm -hmm. and they lost really big to Western Kentucky. So they're on two right now. So you're coming into an environment where they're really looking to get back on track. So what are you doing to prepare your team, having come off this big run at home, to, to hopefully you know get this big upset over the same well, It's got to be that mental focus. It's got to be the same thing we did defensively here. We have to do defensively there. You know, offense may not be there all the time. But if we can play consistent defense, intense defense, we always put ourselves in a, in a position to win. And, and I guess another thing I saw, it seemed like in the first game, like, I remember you said, you know, the team seemed a bit anxious. And, you know, the freshman players stepped up in the penny, dropped 13 points in, in, in the season opener. This game, I think it was more the veterans kind of took over, kind of led 
let the young players and say, hey, this is kind of how, how you play at, at home? What, what did you see as far as the leadership for your team? Well, that's, that's exactly what they did. You know, I, I think they wanted to bounce back from the first game. They came out with a focus, concentrating, ready to play, mentally. And, and when they stepped on the floor from the beginning, they executed the game plan. Good job, Coach. I mean, you guys get the win. Hopefully we can get the show on the road to see if we can get the same results as they go to St. Jo St. Joseph, Philadelphia, and also at Rutgers, and then Fairfield before they're back at our own, before we're back for our own at home November 30th. For more information on NSU basketball, as always, NSUSpartans.com.